<gasps> I think it's broke. Can you fix it? I think so. You be skinny. <laughs> And this is our cat, Lily. This is Cinder. We've got the truck. We've got the trailer. And we're ready for our RV travel class. Hey there, RV travel buddies. This is Rob. Sorry I'm kind of driving here, but we are moving to our next spot. The thing that's a little different here is we're going to use a thousand trails. So we're coming into Long Beach, and we've never used our thousand trails before, so we're gonna see how this goes so we'll let you know if it's uh, user friendly and if it works out as good as we're anticipating and it's been a nice drive so far um, we uh, are having a little problem with the truck um, I have a squealing uh, belt and so somewhere along the line here we're gonna have that looked at but it's nothing serious at least not yet. So anyway, I'll pass this on to you, letting you see how we get in here. Thought we'd do a little tour of the Long Beach Thousand Trails Park. I'm gonna use the gimbal and uh, I'm gonna put a little music to it and we'll just take a look. Well, we're at Thousand Trails in Long Beach, and today we're going to Astoria to the Ford dealer because I've got some squealing coming out of my pool. <laughs> and it either is the tension pulleys or it's the belts. We'll see. But I'm not going to mess around with it. I'm going to take it to a Ford dealer in case I need some parts and it's just not worth worrying about it's been running fine i'm not getting any uh, messages on my screens here or nothing but we're gonna be safe and get it fixed so 
I'll tell you more as we go. Hi guys, this is Rob. We uh, did take the truck in over here in Astoria Ford. Um, I gotta tell you, they treated us great. I was a little scared about going to a dealership. I'm not scared anymore. Not only really, they did a great job, it turned out just to be a belt. And got my, <laughs> washed my truck, I'm all happy about that. And uh, so, now that we're in town, um, our RV's over in Long Beach. We need to get groceries, so we're gonna go find the Safeway down here, and we like Safeway because we get discount on our fuel. So, turned out to be very mild, le just over $200 to fix the track, no big deal. So anyway, we're off and running. So, uh, no, nothing to panic about. So, have a great day, and we'll show you more. So, big news here at RV Travel Quest. What you making? Cookies. Cookies. So, we were at the store the other day, and we've been trying to find oatmeal and chocolate chip. Chocolate chip. chip. And they don't make it. And suddenly, lo and behold, oatmeal chocolate chip cookie mix from Betty Crocker. Uh... I, it probably has been around a while, but uh, it happens to be our favorite. So we wanted to take the time to talk about the Thousand Trails. This was our first time to one. Now the particular park we have is a little more primitive, you might say. It's, it's all gravel and dirt. But they say it's kind of more of a fishing camp kind of place because they do a lot of, uh, well, there's charters out of here and there's also uh, clam digging. So it's a little rustic, you might say. but. We were treated really well. Very well. Yep. Uh, the process of getting in was we called ahead, so they had our paperwork all ready. They just kind of gave us instructions of where everything was. Um, they explained the rules real quick. No big deal. And we've actually been left alone. There's not a, a lot of RV police and stuff, so I was kind of happy with that. Yeah, uh, with it being the winter months and stuff, it's not crowded. They said during the summer months that it can get um, pretty full. Yeah. Um, they have a lot of activities um, just nearby that you can do in town in either um, Long Beach or Il Waco. Yeah, so what we wanted to tell you about is we're going to uh, cut this video short, just kind of tell you more about the tr problem we have with the track and the thousand trails but we've uh, actually been out already prior to this video and done a whole bunch of hiking to two lighthouses mm -hmm. and we went to a museum and we also did the museum with the 360 camera and we took the 360 camera to the two lighthouses also right. so we took a lot of video so we didn't want to put it on this one so all I can say is stay tuned for the next videos coming up. The next two videos are going to be pretty awesome. The 360 videos are on Fridays now. So we got 360 Friday. Yep. Yep. And uh, they'll be, we'll combine all the 360s into one video on Fridays for those who can enjoy the 360s. And I understand for those who can't see them, if they look fuzzy to you, you need to change your setting on your YouTube viewer. Not if you're in Facebook and not if you're on a website. You have to go to the YouTube viewer and change your settings to 720 high definition. It's really simple. There's a little star at the bottom. You press it and it'll go into your quality. Change your quality to high definition and you can see the 360s. And remember, when you are watching 360s, you don't look at just what you see. You can turn the screen any way you want with your cursor or with your arrow buttons. And if you have a iPad you can actually move it that way and this way it's really cool so the rest of our video we did with regular video so mm -hmm. everybody should be able to enjoy what we saw hope you like it mm -hmm. and that's all we got for now so see you next time and make sure you subscribe and tell everybody about our videos and thanks for watching bye